Hey Fit Fam, Coach Russo here. This is You'll Be Fit Forever, premier senior fitness training. Today, our class is only stretching. This is one of our most popular classes, and today is arguably the most important class I have ever taught. And the reason is, I'm going to be showing you how to align your hips. If you have to ask, are my hips out of alignment? The answer is yes. Pretty much everyone's hips are out of alignment due to the nature of civilized living. Short little explanation here because it's so powerful is our hips, the bones like this, okay? Imagine I'm walking here. Imagine you got these little flaps right here, okay? Is they splay outwards and they rotate out due to the way we sit, stand, sleep, all of the above. Now what's crazy about the body is my hips can be splayed out, but my knees and my ankles can be in alignment, which you can imagine it creates a lot of excess torque. Or worse, the whole thing turns out. Now, why this gets more powerful is as the hips splay out and start to, right, they start to tuck forward, it throws the lower back out of alignment, throws the upper back out of alignment, throws the shoulders and the neck, the elbows, everything else is off, okay? That's why this is so important is if your hips aren't in alignment, the rest of your body almost by default cannot be in alignment. Now, this is coming from someone who has spent a decade of endless stretching, only to find myself still plagued by aches and pains. But since I've been doing this stretch program that I'm gonna teach you right now, most of my pain, my ankles, my knees, even my shoulder and elbow and soon to be wrist are dissipating, okay? So, it's gonna be a slow, gentle pace, therefore everyone can do it. You are going to need a chair, I did like a low chair, like not this like big throne. And I use weights to essentially like hold my ankles up. You could use, you know, a book bookshelf. Sometimes I use my dresser, whatever. As long as you can, I'll show you, keep your ankles in line, okay? So what we're gonna do, grab your chair, grab the dumbbells or some object to support your foot, and I will see you on the mat. All right, folks, you gotta ask yourself, did you get down on the ground properly? If you don't know how, go back, watch. That would be six, eight, red shirt. Okay, so this is called the supine groin stretch. This, like I said, is the, and I'm gonna put myself on a limb here, best stretch for seniors, period. I have yet to meet someone over the age of 60 whose hips aren't splayed and turned out, causing all sorts of torque and damage. Now, what you do is you need a chair, okay? And this chair is gonna be for my leg. Now, I use this chair a lot, so I know it pretty well. So I'm gonna turn it this way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay on my back. Watch what I do here. Lean back, get to the hip, okay? Now, I'm gonna take my right leg, I'm gonna put it on the chair, and you want a 90 degree angle. So you see how my knee, I want it straight up and down, like a so, okay? Let me scoot you back here. All right. Now, what I do is I take these dumbbells, or whatever, and I put them against my ankle, like so, so this toe doesn't turn out like this, okay? So you're straight. Now let the fun begin, is you're going to lay flat, head down, and palms are up to the ceiling, okay? Now I'm gonna be turning my head so I can look at you guys. Now, please come join me. Get into this position, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to hold this position for an extended period of time, okay? What I like to do, cell phone, right? Sit back, do, 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 and do whatever you like to do on your phone. Also, you'll start to feel a workout in your arms. When I do this with my clients, sometimes we'll do some stretches and some presses and things of these nature. So please get in this stretch, hold it for a while. Not a minute, not even two minutes. Ideally, like an hour. <laughs> you think I'm exaggerating. Your first time, it'd be, you need to hold it longer. But let me explain to you, first of all, where this came from. This is from Method. His name is Pete Agoscu. It's called the Agoscu Method. A way to be pain-free, and his methodology, which I love and now adapting, is if you place the body in proper alignment, it will naturally start to regenerate itself, building proper muscle. Of course, Coach Russo, we can also increase the rate that we build muscle by being in alignment and doing exercises like we do. Okay? So... This is a great method. It's, it's been working wonders for me and the people that I've been working with privately. So let's go over just the basic science here of this stretch. 
All right, so this leg is up nine degrees. This hip is what we call flexed, okay? And in the flex position, it's coming straight down. And my back and my pelvis right here are like in a nice lock. I don't wanna say lock, but they're in a comfortably stable position, okay? Now, this leg, the long leg, this is coming out, right? This is in an extended position, okay? And what we're doing is this inner thigh muscle which actually they both go and connect to the same very similar bone. This inner thigh muscle is allowing to elongate because what happens is these muscles get tight and they actually rotate our hips out. So and this is this is the money maker, okay? This hip bone, I'm sorry, I'm gonna geek out a lot. This hip bone, it, it, this left hip bone is gonna be turning towards the ceiling. Now a lot happens usually is they'll turn your foot like people go like this. Don't turn the foot, just gradually guide your hip bone but don't lift up, okay? So as I hold this for longer and longer, I'm going to feel this elongation. Now, Peter Gosku, the master himself, what he says is, go ahead and flex this leg muscle. So I pretend I'm locking my knee out and I wanna feel my leg, where does the contraction stop, okay? So, I mean, I already did this today, so my contraction's pretty good. But most people, it's gonna stop right in the mid thigh. And you wanna hold it until this contraction is all the way up at the top. No, you don't keep it contracted the whole time. That doesn't speed it up, okay? You relax it. <sighs> All right, so I try to get my mom to do this stretch because she's working on a walking program. She's going hiking. I know a lot of you guys love walking. I wrote her the walking program just to promote myself here a little bit. Now, this exercise is so important because as you walk, your hips are gonna splay out because we're not taught how to keep them in alignment. So this is going to <sighs> nice and get the hips in a perfect position, okay? Now, you need to do both sides no matter what, okay? So we'll get to that in a second. Now this isn't gonna be the whole video, okay? I feel like I would do you a disservice if this is what the whole video is, even though this is the best stretch of all time, okay? I'm serious, I, I mean I can't even under, I can't exaggerate enough the importance of this, or emphasize, because I'm not exaggerating, it's seriously that good, okay? so. Last little piece of science here, okay? Now, in the corrective exercise, in the th exercise therapy world, we know that a tight glute causes lower back pain. And I, we did, we do endless glute stretching, okay? And, and the, they're not, the glute stretch still has a place, okay? But I'm saying is if this hip and these adductors are pulling out of alignment, it doesn't matter how much I stretch my glutes, I'm never gonna be able to get in the position. And what you may or may not see is as this hip is recentering, let's call it centering, my glute in the back is stretching out. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, obviously there's, not obviously, sorry, I hate that word. Now, there's more benefits. First of all, my lower back, uh, getting some rest. My shoulders, my posture, everything's improving. Um, Igasuka likes to do breathing. Exhale. Okay and hold. Now I have no idea how long I've been holding this, but I want you to continue to hold this. All right, so I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pause the video. You may have to get up out of the stretch or, yeah, I guess we should have saw this before. All right, so what we're gonna do, hold it, okay? Let's hold it and I'm gonna show you some other stretches and then we get up, we'll change the other side. Okay, so what I like to do in this position is, see this leg right here, I'll do some Ankle points. You know what? We are gonna do the whole video in this. I planned other things, but this is this is this is the way. Stay with me, folks, and then we're gonna do the other side. You can do the other side on your own. Okay, so I'm flexing my ankle here. And you also do some circles. Now, if your ankle is on the chair, look, you can still do you know some ankle rocks. You could also do it on this downhill leg. Circles. Now Igasku does not like you to do movements, but you know, I like to change things up. Okay, so you got your ankles. Circles and point and point. Good breathing. All right. Okay. Good. Let's do some breathing together. Okay. So hands on the stomach. Now as you breathe in, drop your jaw. Inhale. And then you're going to exhale gently. Good. And you're going to breathe in. Inhale. Exhale gently. Now as you're breathing in, your stomach is expanding. Don't think fat stomach. Think nice, deep, diaphragmatic breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And inhale. And exhale. 
Good. Breathing in. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, now flex the squat. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Mm, good. I kind of like lift it up a little bit, see where I am. Now hold it. Now we're going to do our shoulder stretches, okay? So you're going to come into cactus. So cactus, elbows are down. You're going to rotate until your wrists are close to the ground. They might not get all the way down. Okay, now from cactus, squeeze your shoulder blades together and release. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and release. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and release. And squeeze your shoulder blades together and release. <sighs> okay, from here, turn your knuckles and your palms, fingers, to the ceiling. I like to make fists, boxing. Okay, now I'm going to gently push not only my elbows, but the back of my arms into the floor and release and push and release. Try to get the back of your shoulders too and push and release, push and release. I just thought of something. Do not tense your abs, okay? Don't flatten the curve, okay? This isn't core power. Just relax everything out. Funny. So much thinking today. Okay, ready? And push the back of the elbows and release and push in the back of the elbows and release. Now get the back of the shoulders and push and release and push and release. Okay, so now you're gonna bring your hands together and you release the fingers, relaxing. Now my arms might get cut off, but I want you to keep your elbows slightly bent and you're gonna reach overhead, touch the ground and back up. This is our pullover movement. You guys know this from upper body strength training, unless you've been skipping upper body. Hmm, our least popular workout. Okay, coming over and touch and reaching over and touch good and reaching over and touch good reaching over and touch okay you're gonna relax bring your arms to the sides palms up let's do a nether let's do a two-part breath okay and then we are almost gonna get out of this position and i will let you do the other side on your own and for sake of me talking you through another supine groin stretch okay so hand on your stomach hand on the upper chest okay now you're gonna breathe into the lower part of your stomach, the stomach first, so two part inhale. Breathe into the stomach and then breathe into the chest, okay? Breathing into the stomach first, inhale. Now into the chest, inhale. And then exhale both together. Good. Okay, let's repeat. Inhale to the lower stomach, inhale. Inhale to the upper chest. And exhale together, good. Okay, breathing in, lower stomach, inhale. Upper chest. Exhale together. Good, one more, inhale. Inhale the upper chest and exhale. Folks, I wanna take this time to just reinforce the importance of doing this stretch, okay? I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, and I am, but it really has been a huge breakthrough in my practice and in my client's practice and now our fit fam practice, okay? I would not have spent an entire video doing this stretch if it wasn't that important, okay? But what I do also like is this gives us a chance to kind of recenter. You can explore some upper body, you can breathe, you could read a book, you can hold your phone. So it's good. Now I will say, disclaimer, men, you have to do this a little bit longer because our hip angles are different than uh, women. And I also want to say that I appreciate you guys. Thanks for bearing with me. I know this may not be the most exciting in Instagram celebrity video, but this is the most powerful stretch. Hands down. I'm putting myself out there. Every trainer, chiropractor, doctor, you guys can come debate me on, on the importance of a different stretch other than this one. Okay, so beautiful job. I think we hit it about 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, well, actually, let me show you, let's sit up together, okay? So what I like to do is I will, I will just take this chair here, and I'll, well, actually, I'll take this chair, I push my leg off, and then I bend my other leg, and then I rotate onto my side. I take my arm here, I push, and I sit up, and I go, hello. Yeah, we did about 10 minutes, okay? That's perfect. So what you're gonna do is, after I finish my short little speech, go ahead, stop, 
and then go ahead and set yourself up on the other side. I don't think you need to watch the entire video again unless you want to rehear my speech. Okay? Do this stretch every single day. Every day. If if, and the thing is, if you drive, if you sit, if you work on a computer, if you stand a lot, right? If you walk a lot, you need to be doing this stretch on a regular basis until some way, somehow, we find a way to permanently engage and align the hips. It may be possible, it may not be possible, but luckily we have the stretch to keep aligning ourselves. Folks, please, 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 please take the time to do this on a regular basis and you will be so grateful. Now, a little endless speech is there are other movements of this nature. They're called passive release. I did not explain that. And we will be going over there shortly over the course of time. And honestly, as an obligation, I'm going to be releasing a short program in the form of a blog that will explain this. We can be on the lookout for that in a few weeks as I just decided to do that right now. But in the reason is this is all new for me. Okay, so go ahead, stop the camera, Give yourself a round of applause, choo -choo 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 -choo, and then do the other side. You will not regret it, okay? So with that, tomorrow is lower body strength training, and we're going to do it with perfectly aligned hips. Can't wait for that, okay? I'll see you on your side. Peace.